Hello everybody, today I'll be sharing my build up boost hammer build for Monster Hunter Sunbreak. To make the build you'll need to get yourself the Lucent Naga Cougar Hammer as it has the highest raw attack of the ailment weapons and can still reach and excel in purple sharpness. As for the armor you'll need the Aurora Canth head, the Risen Mizuha robes, sleeves and boots as well as the Omnio Atiobi for the waist. As for the talisman, anything that can reach attack boost level 3 will be plenty as the build is completely created through the pieces as they are without augmenting. As for the decorations, here they are, welcome to pause it as I'll be moving along quickly as there's a lot to cover with the build. Alright, so got yourself the armor and decorations, here's what this set will give you, attack boost level 7 for an immense boost to your raw attack, thus also increasing the damage of build up boost procs, since the procs aren't affected by element or status which we will go over shortly, Agitator level 5 for another 20 raw attack while the monster is enraged, which also comes with 15% affinity. Level 4 Camellios Blessing comes with the set, but will increase the duration the monster is poisoned, which equates to more free damage and foray uptime. Build up boost at level 3 to gain an incredible 20% increased attack when an attack applies poison. This generally happens every 1 in 3 swings, so the damage adds up quite nicely with the hammer's meaty hits. Foray at level 3 to give 15 raw attack while the monster is afflicted by a status, example being poison, blast, sleep, or any of the ailment toads, as well as the wall bugs, as well as a 20% affinity for a chance at some juicy crits. Handicraft to level 2, as I personally prefer not having to maintain protective polish, but you can swap to protective polish if you prefer it, which leaves resentment at level 1, giving you 5 raw attack while you have recoverable health. And the final skills are all personal preference, but I go with Slugger level 3, Evade Extender level 1, and Defiance level 3. Okay, onto the gameplay you've been seeing in the background. As you can see, this build works for both Courage Charge Mode and Strength Charge Mode, but truly shines with Courage since the level 2 state of the swings can also potentially be Poison Hits, racking up some really high extra damage, but I would personally recommend sticking to strength if you're playing multiplayer for massive wake up hits and very solid hit and run damage incredibly consistently. And using courage mode for single player as you can rack up some stupidly high damage without having to worry about launching your fellow hunters, but as you probably noticed, the build will not change your playstyle in the slightest, it merely gives you a comfortable way to deal extra damage through not only the poison and the procs off your swings, but also giving you the option to use courage or strength charge mode without too much of a difference in performance. Now I briefly want to mention augments as they are fairly set defining with some ungodly augments making this build even stronger if you can get things like weakness exploit, attack boost, handicraft or critical boost. This build can pump out some incredibly high numbers. As for the weapon augments, I haven't been able to test the difference between level 3 of attack up, but I would highly imagine that having one level of rampage decoration and one level of attack would be ideal, as the anti jewels will give you 5% more attack, opposed to 5 raw attack, which on this build should shine above the raw attack. And that has been my build up boost raw hammer set that is viable for both strength charge mode and courage charge mode users. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.